Hi everybody, welcome to Wise Kong Driving. Today we are looking at the all new Innova Xenix. There are two versions available, but before we go on any further, I would like you to do one thing. Forget everything you know about the Toyota Innova. That Innova that you know up to now is a body on frame construction. It is meant more as a workhorse. It's a tough machine, no doubt. But this one is a total paradigm shift. Of course, if you still want a workhorse, the current Innova is still available for you to buy for your commercial usage. So, for the new Innova Xenix, we have two versions. We have a normally aspirated 2-litre engine that is far more powerful than the previous one. And also, we have a hybrid version, which also runs a 2-litre but Atkinson cycle engine. So let's go deeper into it, guys. All right, so the first of the two versions is the Innova Xenix naturally aspirated ICE engine, two liters in terms of capacity, but it's a very, very different engine from what you know of the two liter. This one is the same engine that powers the Toyota Harrier. So this is the Dynamic Force two liter engine that has 174 PS and 205 Newton meters of torque. Drive is to the front wheels through a 10-speed direct shift CVT with sequential shift. So looking at it from the front, you have something that is reminiscent of the Corolla Cross and then you have a very high front and a high waistline going all the way to the back and of course he's got the grey cladding along the sides to give it the semblance of a SUV or crossover. Of course, this is a lot bigger than the Corolla Cross. You have a length of 4760mm, a width of 1850mm, a height of 1795, and the wheelbase is really long. It has a wheelbase of 2850mm, so this is a very, very roomy vehicle. So looking at the engine compartment of the Innova, it looks like there's plenty of room here. Well, partly it's because this car is built on the TNGA concept and so the engine sits very low. Look at it. It's so low down you can hardly see it. And be this is because it gets better center of gravity. And why? Because the exhaust goes out the back of the engine and the intake part is at the front of the engine. And also the TNGA platform is built very strong. So what you see here is the inner frame of the vehicle. And the outer skin is just a cladding that they put on. So all the th strength is in the middle. And of course you see here there all the braces that go across the top of the body. And this helps to strengthen the framework. So a more rigid body means better handling and of course everything is put down low so that the center of gravity is very low so down here is a cvt 10 speeds and it promotes very good fuel consumption so with this innova you can expect much better fuel consumption and again if you look at the placement of the engine you see the wheel here the engine is just in front of the front wheels and all this part here is very lightweight. It carries the radiator and the aircon radiator and so this part is just very lightweight. All the weight is concentrated at this part near the axle. So the balance of the vehicle is very good. Plus, according to the specs of the car, the front overhang has been reduced so you will get very good ground clearance and the rear overhang is also shortened 
so you will get very very good climbing ability and also you can clear a lot of obstacles with this so from what i can see here this is a good formula for a car or rather a vehicle that will handle very well looking at it from the side i see 18 inch wheels ventilated disc and a single pot floating caliper the suspension is mcpherson struts which is quite easy to maintain and of course drive is to the front wheels at the back again we see a smaller uh, single pot floating caliper and yes they are ventilated this so stopping power for this vehicle should be okay the rear suspension looks like it is torsion beam and you have hydraulic or gas shockers at the back so this car uh, setup is very much the same as the Corolla Cross, only bigger. Okay, here's a quick look at the interior. This is really the first time I'm seeing it. Electrical controls for the driver's seat. This one looks like it is leather and contoured with white stitching. Adjustable headrest for up and down. A center console. A steering that's very car-like and it looks like a standard car steering is put in here so I think the driving feel will be quite good let's get inside so what I see is the ref counter here so the speedometer must be here on the right you see the fuel gauge and this is the temperature gauge so there must be an MID display there over here I see a screen I think it's 10.1 inch then we have the gear shift parking brake auto hold ah there's eco mode traction control on and off then you have your PRND plus manual shift on the right and what else do I see yes pedal shifters oh that's good man 174 PS is going to make this vehicle a lot more fun to drive and over there you see this is a power socket and also a little cubby hole for you to keep your stuff and down here is the glove compartment as for the aircon you have your digital controls and down here we have the usb uh, this is normal usb and this is type c this is the second row and it is made for three people of course if you put the center down it's only good for two people but you have a 60 40 split and you can actually slide them forward or backwards up to your liking and this is the third row it is good for two to three people so technically this vehicle is slotted as an eight seater but i think seven would be quite nice two three two but you can fit a full-size adult here without any problem and look up there guys we have uh, aeroplane type aircon louvers for second row and third row and of course the first row uh, aircon is to the front this is the aircon control for the second row and you it is so you can call it a two zone aircon system and grab handles there are wow there's two four six grab handles on this car and from what i can see there's also a rear camera and of course there is the front camera it's the hybrid version and the non-hybrid version look very very much the same you really can't tell the difference except for the hybrid badge here and also the hybrid badge at the back and of course, if you looked at it from the roof, you will know that this one has got a panoramic sunroof. So other than that, you really can't tell the difference. Even the front grille, which is very surprising, doesn't have the blue grille that they have for the hybrids. All right, this is the interior of the Innova Xenix Hybrid. And it looks very much the same as the normal one except of course they have the panoramic sunroof and other than that the meter cluster is slightly different 
this one looks like it's digital and you get the same gear shift lever and the same 10.1 inch audio system and everything else looks pretty much the same Atkinson cycle also 2 liter for the hybrid version of the Innova ZX and this one has less power but the total combined power of the engine and the hybrid system will give you 186 PS which is a little bit more than the 174 of the non-hybrid and torque is a little bit higher at 206 Newton meters. So in terms of performance, the two vehicles will be very much the same. The only difference is of course the fuel consumption on the hybrid is going to be a lot better. We don't have the numbers for the fuel consumption but because it's a hybrid system, I am sure it will be a lot better and this hybrid system runs the ever reliable uh, system that is possibly from the Camry and it also runs nickel metal hydride battery system which is already very very well proven so in terms of the safety systems the Innova is the first in the Toyota range here at least to use Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 Oh, so it has, of course, the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection and also a radar to scan the road ahead. And the uh, dynamic radar cruise control also uses RSA, which is road sign assistance, to help the DRCC to reduce speed according to road signs. So, for example, if you're traveling 110 and the road speed limit drops down to 80, then the system will read the sign and slow down the car to 80. Also, it has auto high beam and lane trace assist. The autonomous emergency braking also responds at intersections and scans the road for oncoming traffic. And it also includes emergency steering assist. Yes, this is the TSS or Toyota. Toyota Yes, this is Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 for you. And in addition, you also have blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, and of course, the panoramic view monitor. On top of that, it has hill start assist, VSC, ABS, ESS, electronic parking brake, six airbags, ISO fixed points, and seat belt warning. So guys, that's our very quick take on the all-new Innova Xenix. The ICE version retails for 165,000 ringgit, whilst the hybrid version retails for 202,000 ringgit. That's price XP Malaysia without insurance. And of course, if you need this car, do send us a WhatsApp at 016-335-0609 or go to shop.yskongdriving.com and place your order. Thanks very much for being with us. Until we meet again in the next video, bye-bye everybody.